Here is the JavaScript program that calculates the tangent line of a graph. How it works is it asks for two inputs. One is the equation, and the other is an x value on the curve. And these are stored as global variables that will be used throughout the program. First thing that runs is the setup function. Basically what this does is creates this gray canvas and the x and y axis. Then we have a draw function which creates the graph and tangent line. So the graph function creates this for loop, creates the vertical grid lines. So every 30 pixels until the width of the canvas. Um, every 30 pixels it draws a line from the top to the bottom. And then also adds text right here, negative 10, negative 9, increments of 1, all the way till 9. And then same with this for loop, except this one is the horizontal grid lines. Then the last for loop actually draws the graph, this red curve. So what it does is it goes in really small increments and it goes from the left hand of the side of the screen to the right. And basically it checks if, so this right here gets the y value of the curve and as it goes through each x if it matches the y then it adds a red basically red color for every pixel and then it forms the graph as it as the x values go from left to right and then these are just scaling factors Then for the tangent line, what it first does, it calculates the derivative right here. So it uses the limit formula shown here. So change in x, we're setting to a very small number to replicate it going towards zero. So we get a close approximation. Once we found the derivative, we want to draw the tangent line, which is similar to how we draw the curve. We go very small increment, then we calculate the tangent like this, using the derivative and the x value given at the top, and then we draw a point at every y value that matches the x and it forms this line that's just touching the point so here we chose negative one and then this part right here is just to format the equation um, basically if it's positive or negative and adds even spacing, then this is basically edge cases. If the slope is zero, I want it to be y equals x instead of y equals 0, 0.0x. And then it rounds the derivative to two decimal places. And lastly, it displays on the screen in green here the equation of the tangent line like this. So to run the program, so what you have to do is put um, asterisks in between instead of to represent um, exponents. So this would be 2x squared instead of putting like 2 
can't do exponents in here, so you have to do multiply instead. And then minus 8, so that would be 2x squared minus 8. And then so you want x equals 1. Then it gives the graph of 2x squared minus 8. And then it draws the tangent line. And what's the formula right here? So if the, you have to get used to the syntax that it accepts. You can also do trigonometric functions such as sine x at a point like this. And it will calculate the uh, tangent line. And it will round it again to two decimals. And to draw this canvas, I used P5JS. So you can import that into here. And also MathJS to do the calculations. The link will be in the description if you want to use this.